everyone, Denna here. I'm an American living in Germany. I've been living here for seven years now, plus one year in Prague, so that's eight years in total away from the US, the country of my birth and the country that I grew up in. Now, I have made a home for myself here in Munich. I do feel very much at home here, but I would say that America is still definitely my home home. As of filming this, America's had a new president for a little over two weeks now, and I've seen a lot of people expressing that they would like me to talk about how I feel about what's been going on in the US. So here goes. To be honest, I have written and rewritten my thoughts for this video at least five times with tears at some points, trying to figure out how to sort through and connect all the many thoughts that have been going through my head and feelings that have been going through my heart. So yeah, I hope that I have found a way to get these complicated thoughts and feelings across and I will just do my best now. America is not a perfect country. Not now, not two months ago when Obama was president, not back at the very beginning when the ink of the constitution was just freshly dry. America as a country has done some horrible, unthinkable things in the name of bettering itself, in the name of doing what's best for America. But to me, America has also been a country that I have always felt very proud to say I'm from while living here in Europe. Not blindly proud, not proud simply because it's America and I'm from there. It's not blind nationalism, but rather proud of specific things about America and specific things that the American people have come together and done right. Proud that the country I'm from is considered a melting pot of different cultures and traditions. Proud to announce that the country I'm from does not have an official language. All languages welcome. Proud that the country I'm from does not have an official religion all religions welcome. Proud of the country's immigration ideals engraved into a plaque inside the most prominent statue in the country, the Statue of Liberty towering 305 feet, 93 meters above the ground, a statue that has represented a beacon of hope for so many hundreds of thousands of immigrants whose families are still living on American soil today. One very important part on that plaque reads as follows. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest-tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. I'm not going to pretend that that is an easy mission statement to live up to. No, these are lofty, noble ideals and ones that America has failed to live up to many, many times in her history. It has been a long, often rough road forward, sometimes like trying to walk against the gusts of a hurricane. The ending of slavery took a civil war to a Accomplish. Women did not get the vote in America until 1920. 1920! Women haven't even been voting in America for 100 years yet. Up until 2011, people who were openly gay, lesbian, or bisexual were still not allowed to fight for the country in the United States military. With each new wave of immigrants in America's history, there has often come this pushback from people saying that America has enough immigrants, Irish immigrants, Chinese immigrants, Jewish immigrants during the Holocaust, and many, many more have been contested. The previous generation of immigrants, it seems, after settling into life in America, are often so quick to forget and push to yank up the ladder and deadbolt lock the doors behind them. But struggling and sometimes failing to live up to your goals and your ideals 
does not make them any less worthy principles to continue to strive for. And it's been the fact that America has, I feel, always continue to try to push forward, sometimes with setbacks, but in general trying its best to push as a country in the direction of those goals, in the direction of becoming a more open country, in the direction of becoming a country more accepting of all kinds of people. It is for that reason that I have always been the most proud to call America my home home. So then, as an American living abroad in Germany, what have I been feeling during the first two weeks of the new presidency? My overwhelming feeling toward much of what President Trump has done during his first two weeks in office is that it scares me and it saddens me. Scares me to the very core of my being and saddens me because I see much of the president's decisions as things that will hamper that progress forward towards those ideals that I hold so valuable. Once you start denying one group of people, it is a very slippery slope to denying these people over here as well, and then also these people here, and these people over here too. The truth is, no one is really truly free unless everyone is free. So my question for you is, how are you feeling? What do you make of all of what's going on? Please let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, auf Wiedersehen.